News 46, local coverage you can count on. If I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, I'll be saved. You gave your life, Join the Righteous Rock Nation. We play the only rock. That's right. Tune in on Facebook Monday through Fridays. And also check us out on MySpace and follow us on Twitter. Remember, we play the only rock. That's right. Welcome back to the Righteous Rock Show. We play the only rock. That's right. Stay tuned for a full hour of devil kick in metal with the band Mortification. Tune back in afterwards and we'll tell you exactly how to join the infiltration squad. And remember, we play the only rock. That's right. Let me hear some noise! Let me hear some noise!
idiots. I should attack the body. The shoes he did prevail. Sir, your God, your time will come. Beware the trap inside of fate. Some guidance for your life. Tonight, adorn the priestly bones. Covering filthy manifest days.
Okay, so we had we had Light Force, which was uh, a band that was a classic metal in style, and um, in, very influenced by you know Maiden and, and, and Blood Good and Baron Cross and Judas Priest. And then when Light Force split up, I kept the name for a while and um, had become very interested in thrash music and of course you know the beginnings of death metal. So in 1990, I got together with Jason, who's been with me in Mortification, and a guy called Cameron. Um, who was one of the early Light Force guitarists, and we recorded an album called Break the Curse, which was very aimed at um, you know, the European thrash that was happening at that time, Sodom, Creator, Destruction, Celtic Frost, all those sort of bands. And uh, soon after, of course, Michael replaced Cameron, and the music just became heavier and heavier, and we changed the name to Mortification with the recording of the first Mortification album. And death metal really hit in a big way, and so it was like an obvious progression to yeah, write some death metal songs and record a death metal album, which we did in Scrolls and the Megaloth. In looking back at Scrolls, um, I kind of thought, well, as a leader of the band, I needed to take the band on into the future, and I wanted to be involved in putting Christian lyrics into metal music for a few years to come. And I don't know, or didn't know at that time, whether you know I wanted to play total death metal or whether death metal had a, a long life. And so at that point, Michael and I decided that um, we were going to combine a hybrid of influences that we'd been into over the years, you know, hard rock, metal, thrash, death metal, a little bit of industrial, whatever, try and create our own sound and try and create a hybrid style of music, which is what we are now and which is where the future is going. Um, Jason has gone on to do other things now. We've got a new drummer called Phil and uh, Phil's more of a heavy metal drummer, more of a hardcore drummer, so it's sort of focusing and suiting more of the hardcore future that we've got. You know, I grew up on Kiss, and then I just went, I heard, you know, some of the most heavier, heavier stuff like Celtic Frost and Destruction, and um, you know, pretty much the thrash virgin metal was coming out at the time, and that became death metal eventually, and that was uh, what, you know, I was into. Now I find myself sort of getting back into the rock sort of stuff, so, um, what I want to do musically is just sort of incorporate a bit of a bit of influences from all the angles there, from the death metal, from the rock, and um, definitely, you know, I want to keep the music brutal, heavy, and stuff like that, you know. Who here has got the uh, very first Mortification album? We're going to do a couple of tracks off this song now. These songs are about spiritual warfare. This is Brutal Warfare. <laughs> Oh, 
I think um, I'm not really a lead player, I'm more of a rhythm player. And when I first started playing guitar, that, that's all I was doing, you know. I'd practiced my favourite bands and stuff like that. I've never been into theory also. 
So sort of showing off with my guitar playing is nothing I really care about. Um, I think the big concern with stage is trying to move around and give it some presence. Well, I guess I was smiling a lot during the recording of the live video because uh, when we actually hit stage and we were actually playing and everything had come together, it was really amazing. It was uh, obviously a big risk in a lot of organisation to do a live album and video, but the crowd was there and um, they were very, very responsive and uh, the audio and video was going well. Well, here we are, live in Australia. What do all you Australian people think about this video and live album going all around the world?
Well, what I'd like to say to the, the black metal movement or to the uh, Satanists in death metal is that as Christians, um, we follow the Bible and the Bible says, you know, that we're not fighting against people, we're fighting against evil. So we have every intent, you know, of coming against evil and coming against Satan, but we're no way against people. And there's sort of been some death threats and threats coming our way in the way of record companies and magazines and people that have things to do with us. And, you know, I'm willing to sit down and, you know, have a cup of coffee and be friends with anybody. Um, and so hopefully, you know, this whole trend within this scene um, will go past, you know, hatred and murder and killing back to what metal is all about. And that's people having fun and enjoying music. And if the enjoyment has gone out of metal, then I guess metal's lost what it's supposed to be. As most of you people realise, we are a Christian band. And uh, it's kind of uh, unfortunate that the uh, dark side of things gets a pretty big representation in heavy metal, especially in death metal. And uh, it's been really, really good to get albums out all around the world on Nuclear Blast and also on Intense Records. We just like to take this opportunity to thank Intense Records and also Nuclear Blast for their support of the band. Let's hear it for those labels. Anyway, a month or so ago, one of the, uh, the kingpin bands of the Christian metal scene, Bloodgood, called us today. So we're going to do a song off the first Bloodgood album. And this is called Black Snake.
turned out fantastic and uh, watching the, the camera angles and all the camera you know stuff that was going on um, and the crowd too just going off like they did it just felt really good and it's not sort of something that sort of pumps up with pride either we want this live video and this live album to be a testimony to the fact that we stand up for Christ the Christian life is the best there is no better life than the Christian life. The Christian life is the ultimate life here and it's the ultimate life in eternity and nobody but nobody but nobody can ever dispute that. We're going to finish with our anthem song which is God Rules and then this momentary affliction. It was very interesting when we were recording the song of this momentary affliction that the words say crush this momentary pain which of course Christ can. But I, I wonder if it'll come out on this CD, because if you listen to the album version, we didn't even realise it, but when you listen to the words, crush this momentary pain, I tell you, I challenge you not to say that it doesn't sound like Christ will return again. And we didn't even know about it. So anyway, this is our anthem song. 
Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting the band. Thanks, Australia. The basis of the band is going to be in extreme metal styles, um, but I think we're going to, you know, try and put as many different styles of metal into each album as we can, so that um, the kid that listens to Metallica, the kid that listens to Sepultura, um, will be into the band as much as kids that are into death metal. Um, one thing that we want to do from now on in the future is um, be a bit more of a broad base of appeal. It was very interesting when we're when we're filming video clips and I guess that a lot of bigger bands, you know, spend weeks doing clips and we've only, you know, done most of the clips within a day or two. And the Scrolls of the Megaloth clip was uh, a clip that was very hot and sweaty and very dusty. It was in a quarry and it was like 37 degrees or something. So when you see this clip, you can uh, imagine the, the day of suffering that we went through when it was recording, but it's all worth it, you know, it's uh, when you see the end result. Yeah. Well, look, Jason was a great drummer, and I'm trying to fill his shoes. One of his shoes usually takes about two of my feet, though. I play this slightly different style than Jason does, and I feel that my, my style will contribute something to the band, especially in the direction that they're headed now. I think, I think what's going on in my life now is probably what's coming out of the music. Then again, I'm, it's probably funny to say, when I first started in the band, I was about 18. Now I'm 21, and I feel older already. One thing that's uh, really good about the, the live video that you're watching at the moment is that I always had in the back of my mind, you know, what would it sound like properly mixed, you know, just with one guitar track and, you know, one vocal track and all really raw and live. And Doug Saunders, of course, did an amazing job with the audio and Neil Johnson and his crew have done an amazing uh, job with the video. And uh, it's really good. I think this live video is sort of more of a mortification, hardcore experience. Now, the albums are very well produced and kind of pretty clinical in a lot of way, which is, of course, the way you should do studio albums. But um, this live album has really, and video has showed the other side of the band, which has been really satisfying that it's turned out so well. Welcome back to the Righteous Rock Show. Join the Infiltration Squad at www.roadproductions.com and check out the YouTube channel, Mortification 2010. Tune back in next time where we play the only rock that's right. 
Hi, this is Bill Mention from Mention, the seventh power, Rev 7, Final Axe, Titanic, Redeemer, and anything else you can think of, and you're watching the Righteous Rock Show Nation, the only rock that's righteous. If I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, I'll be saved. 